Okay. So we start our stand up it's Thursday. What date is it? The eighth. Thursday the eighth. So we have started the stand up and as well the others to join. Do we have any announcements from the Ten Academy team? Good morning, everyone. I uh, hope you're good. This is Emilia. Uh, my announcement, I uh, would just like to remind you to send the pictures. Just upload your pictures in the shared folder. Uh, remember, it's due tomorrow. So if you haven't shared yet, just yes, share. The picture is just you in your office. I think I have provided all information about that on Slack and yesterday during CBA. So if you haven't taken the picture, you can ask someone to take your picture in your office. Then please upload. Thank you. Okay, thank you for that, Emilian. Any other announcement from the Ten Academy side? Okay, so I'll assume that there's no uh, any other announcement for now. We'll take more announcements toward the end of the stand up. If any so let's go straight to the stand up. Uh, by now, you already know the structure of the stand-up. Just volunteer. Tell us what you've been up to, what you did yesterday. How did the submission, the interim submission go for you? And what are you planning to do today? And if you have any any challenges so far, you can also share. And uh, we'll be here to hear, to listen, and uh, actually help. So, any volunteers? Should I start picking at random or do I, someone wants to volunteer, someone feeling in the mood to share their updates today? Yes, yes, Mohammed, go ahead. So, uh, good morning, guys. Uh, Hope you are doing well. <clears throat> Yesterday, um, or the past two days, uh, I were working on and cleaning the data, and I have stuck in cleaning the data. Um, I didn't do uh, EDA, uh, but uh, I managed to to write my report, uh, explaining what I did in cleaning the data. So uh, I have uh, a question. Um, uh, I realized that uh, when I'm working uh, in the past two weeks or the past three weeks, uh, when I'm working on the interim report, um, I struggle um, and stucking uh, in one point during uh, the three, the first three days of the week. So. Um, what what I'm asking is uh, how I could manage to be out from this fucking zone, uh, so I could proceed with the uh, with with the tasks, and uh, yes, fulfilling my uh, deliverables. Thank you. Okay, Mohammed. So maybe to ask what uh, makes you stuck? Is there something specific that makes you get stuck? You could say uh, in this week uh, I was stuck in uh, uh, filling the missing data with each values. Um, uh, maybe in the past two weeks I I may be stuck in the area of cleaning, but the concept is that um, whatever the topic was or whatever the task was, uh, I stuck. Uh, I stuck on it b because uh, I I keep searching for answers and uh, I keep uh, deeping my knowledge in that specific topic and I forget about uh, the tasks that I, I, I want to achieve or I want to fulfill. So uh, I, I don't realize that I'm stuck in that point uh, until the deadline of the interim report uh, comes. Okay, so that seems like a good kind of 
start because you are going for deep knowledge, although something you should keep in mind and um, what everyone else here should keep in mind is that the project is really extensive, much more than somebody will request from you in a week. And uh, we don't need you to actually go into deep about everything as long as you understand what is needed from each task and you actually attempt that task. Just uh, target to make that deliverable maybe by Wednesday or by Saturday. Then by the end of the 12 weeks, you can just come back to that specific project that you found interesting and now go into detail about it and maybe make more changes that you wanted to do. So for you, Mohammed, I'd just say maybe come up with a plan, things you need to do by when. If you need to do deliverable by Wednesday, by Wednesday, just, okay, so you need to do EDA, you need to do maybe task one, you need to do some MLOps, just come up with a list of things you need to do by Wednesday and have a plan for it. So if you're, your EDA is supposed to do it by Monday and it's Tuesday, you've already done something, just leave it at that and continue with the other deliverables. If you get time, you can come back to that thing that interested you so that you just ensure you have that deliverable in place. So you don't need to go deep. You'll have time to do this after the week 12. Okay. So what if um, the deliverables or one of the tasks uh, was depending on the previous task? So that uh, you could say, if I want to do EDA, I must clean the data. Or if I want to do uh, logging or MLOps, I have uh, to write my code or something like that. Yeah, it's true. Most of uh, most of the tasks are actually dependent on each other. And uh, maybe just, like you keep saying you're doing cleaning before EDA, and I think it's the other way around. You need to first do the EDA, then you do the cleaning. So I don't know why you'd... Uh, You'd not do the EDA first and go straight to cleaning. What would you be cleaning? And you've not yet explored your data. So just to maybe correct that, you need to start with the EDA before before the cleaning or any form of pre-processing. So when I say when I say that you don't need to do everything, you can just continue to the other tasks. I meant you don't need to do it deeply. You did say you're concentrating too much on one thing. If you do some form of EDA, you can be able to do cleaning. If you do some form of cleaning, you can go ahead and do modeling. If you do some form of modeling, you'll definitely have a dashboard. So it's not not doing the task completely. You need to attempt each and every task because most of them are dependent, but you don't need to go into, into so much depth of just one task. You won't have time to do everything. Okay, that sounds great, and I will do that in the next couple of weeks. Thank you. Okay, so I hope everyone else learned from that discussion you had with Mohammed. You just need to pick up a few of the things I have mentioned. Okay, Genet, over to you. Okay, good morning. Uh, uh, yes, I paint is a uh, uh, day before I was trying to do on the challenge uh, and uh, uh, some of the installation was uh, making me somehow uh, it was difficult to uh, install the DVC and so on but I'll try to do it and uh, finally the task one uh, when I read the documents in parallel I'll try to Jot down on the uh, point out some of the ideas from the uh, challenge document to out of the other document. Uh, finally, when I was try to uh, we've uh, we've lost to get it for a second there. I don't know if you're right, still the uh, report is that. Uh, support me a lot, and uh, I went back there. Hello. Okay, so I, we can hear you now. We can hear you Hello? now. Hope you can hear us, but uh, you did break for a little. Okay. I didn't get. Okay. Uh, 
some side, yeah? <laughs> you did good. Okay, uh, I'll try to write the notes in between when I read it and when I'm doing that of EDA. And that will finally, when I write the report, the, when I prepare the report. Okay, so we'll uh, uh, and do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, but you keep breaking. Okay. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, there is no internet so I'm surrounding. I'm trying to use the mobile data, that's why. Oh, okay, so because some of the things did break, maybe a summary is everything going well, or do you have mm -hmm. any blockers? And uh, sorry for that. Uh, finally, I will try to to submit the uh, documents in the, the report list. Thank you. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't get if you had any, any issues or any blockers. Maybe if you, did you have any issues? Uh, in yeah, I, I, I tried to install them, some of which is ML, loops, uh, ML flow uh, and so on, but I'll try it. If the, I need some help, I'll ask you. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, so the main issue was on the installation of the packages, mainly the MLOps tool. So yeah, yeah. we've uh, taken note of the issues most of you have raised on the MLOps, and we will try to arrange. We will try to arrange uh, another shot or whatever time we'll take on MLOps tools, just to show you how they all connect and uh, how they flow. So when this is finalized, maybe we'll just communicate the same to you. With that, okay. with that time, with that time, okay. but okay. you could actually okay. reach out to you can also reach out to some of the, the others here have really done it really well. And okay. um, maybe you can just ask, and I'm sure somebody might will be willing to help you. Those who have already done it really well in this okay. group already, okay. okay. Over to you, and then it. hello. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, yesterday, uh, I I was just a bit disappointed. I I couldn't. Uh, I wasn't able to submit my report uh, on the deadline. I missed the deadline. Uh, that that was because like I was just working on the uh, slides and the part cut off. And I wasn't able to complete the slides, and I, I haven't even get access to my slides to submit them. But I, I was able to submit the Git the GitHub link through my uh, phone, uh, but I wasn't able to submit it uh, submit my slides. But uh, there is this uh, uh, late policy thing I read. Uh, on the document, and it says uh, if we if we couldn't uh, submit uh, before like six uh, five to six hours, in, like into that we we can uh, max it on the maximum we can just we we should uh, submit or uh, we should be able to submit our assignment by then. So uh, the power uh, comes in, but. Even though I didn't finish the report, like I should, I just submitted it anyway because, like, I didn't want to miss the six-hour limit. It says if we if we pass that, we won't uh, receive a grade, but we will receive a, a feedback. So uh, I submitted it anyway, and I am a bit disappointed by that. But I will uh, try my best to finish as early as possible, the rest of the tests before uh, Saturday's deadline. Uh, that was my uh, focus. Okay, thank you for that update, Andenet, and so sorry to hear about the power issues and the disappointment that it caused. So yeah, it's really good that you did submit, even if you're not able to finish before that uh, six hour lead submission policy. It's better to get something than to get nothing because you did put effort in your work 
And for everyone here, if you know your area has an issue with power outages, it's much more better to plan your work in a way that you give it that allowance in case power gets in case I get a power cut, okay, let me target to finish by, let's say, 5 p.m. UTC instead of 8 p.m. UTC. So you just put that in your mind because technical issues happen. And while you might understand, you might find companies, you might be working for a company that's in, in Europe, but they don't know what power cut is. So just if you know you, you experience a lot of power cuts in your area, try to come up with a new deadline for yourself and try to stick with that. Okay, over to you, Berhan. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, okay, from my side, yesterday a uh, little bit it's challenging. Uh, the first challenge was uh, DVC. Uh, I I will try to install on the Conda environment, but it's difficult to, or it's difficult to me. It was uh, happened the conflict within the email, but at the end, I will I will change the email, then it work properly. Uh, the second challenge was uh, at the night there is there is no light. That was uh, a broker from my side, but I try to uh, jump. Uh, I try to work. I, I, I was working on the ADA and I also uh, writing a report. And I some I I would submit uh, on time. Uh, today I I have planned to work on the pre-processing and uh, other ML setuping ML loops, ML flow, and other other tasks. That's all from my side. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mirhano, for that update. And it's uh, good to hear that you are facing challenges and are overcoming them. That is really good. Really good to hear. So over to you, Joseph. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Like I said yesterday, uh, I tried to I tried to finish the, the print class and did my submission. But yesterday was a little bit uh, a little bit challenging for me because of DVC, of course. Uh, I was not able to assess the version of my data in my in my G drive. So what I did finally is to use the checkouts of it in order to use to change the version of what I have in my local machine in order to use it. But I'm not still I'm I'm not yet able uh, to assess my the version of my data directly in my deep pipe. So I don't know if I could get help from you or from someone, it would be very nice. But yesterday I asked, uh, I didn't get any answer in the evening. But I tried to submit because since I found another way to do it. Also, when I was implementing the CML uh, on Git, yeah, on GitHub, I don't know how to uh, no, I, I tried to assess the version, but the tag it was not recognized in GitHub. So maybe uh, if I can get some help about how to do those things, it would be nice for the remaining part of the work. Uh, today I'm planning to do the data pre-processing and go ahead with the model. And that is it for me. Okay, thank you, Jesus, for that update. So if I got that correct, you're saying the main issue is with DVC and CML, right? Uh, yes, I think especially DVC, uh, because for CML, I try to uh, I try to overcome that, but the main issue is DVC, and it's re it will be related to CML after. Okay, so the same thing I think I mentioned to Gannett. We have uh, realized the issue that you guys are facing with uh, those two, those two ML of tools, DVC and uh, ML flow. And we'll try to arrange a session to just go through the two again. But uh, we don't yet have a time allocated for that. But we'll be sure. I'll be sure to communicate when we do get a time for that. In the meantime, maybe just to ask the rest of the group before I get another volunteer, is someone, has someone here been able to do DVC and or ML flow and or CML 
successfully without any issues. Okay, so the silence, silence, no interruption means that no one has been able to do any of this. Okay, so your subnet that is, you say you tried DVC, so that is you did DVC successfully, it worked, and it's, you could teach someone else, your subnet. Also, not snail. Oh, okay, CML worked for just yours. Not snail is that DVC, ML flow, and CML. Uh, I just want to give uh, Josias a uh, suggestion. I, I think that might, that will work. Uh, we, I, 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 first, I want to ask him where his uh, remote repository is. I think he's trying to load the, the data using DVC while the CML is working. Okay. I think my remote is is on Google Drive. Okay. Uh, okay. Can you try it uh, on the Git repo? Uh, I think that might work. Uh, I'm not hundred percent sure, but that might work uh, logically. Uh, if you put the DVC the DVC repository on your uh, actual repository folder, and you, I think you can access it. Uh, if you have time just like that, it might work. The error that I'm getting is that uh, the thing is not able to access my Google Drive. I think it's about uh, the token error, that the token is expired or revoked, something like that. Okay, if it's a G Drive issue, uh, I'm sorry. I, I just worked on, on my local files. Okay. okay. I Okay. Yeah, I just I just thought I, I, I might suggest you do it uh, in the local repository file uh, on the home folder. If you put the, your DVC remote, that might work. And and how do you access it on GitHub when when running the CMS? Uh, you just give it the pass. Uh, since your DVC is uh, all the, the versions are in your in the same file directory, I do, I don't think there is a reason it, it won't work. Okay. It's the same file. It's it's like you have your your all the CSP files in your data folder, right? Yeah. So you will have a repository, your DVC repository, uh, in the same folder as well. Not in the data, but in the home folder, in, the, in your main repository folder. So maybe I will I will, I will create a repository locally and use it. Yeah, try that. Give it a try. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, thank you, Natsnail, for that. I think that might have also helped others who are trying to use um, the G drive. And uh, just, just be sure to give us an update of how that fix goes for you. Okay, over yes. to uh -huh. All right. Okay, over to you, Tamar. Good morning. Good morning. I want to say about talk about what I did yesterday. Okay. And I'm not talking about the I'm not talking about the DVC, although I managed to work around uh, those issues and is to add those different files, files in my GitHub. Yeah, yesterday I I finished the EDA and task one, but when I was reading the deliverable, I realized that we have to include ML, ML dashboards, I mean, uh, screenshots showing that you did I uh, think do the email and I was not able to finish I uh, I didn't I started to work on machine learning but I didn't finish the machine learning part in order to do email so, so that was my blocker uh, the time I couldn't finish all 
the dead valuable requirements. Yeah. That's it from my end. Okay, thank you for that update. Maybe just to mention something uh, on that, what you just mentioned. Uh, what was mainly required was not for you to do modeling so that you actually implement MLflow, but just to show that you've actually mm -hmm. set up MLflow. And most of the time, you could just set up MLflow and still have an empty dashboard. So you've set up MLflow, you have an oh. empty dashboard. You're just waiting for the runs and the artifacts to create while you do the modeling and uh, take note of your models when you start modeling. So the setup is what was expected, not for you to actually do modeling itself. Oh, so I can even do it right now. Okay, thank you for clearing oh, Okay. Something else you did mention that you hadn't noticed, and uh, maybe just to ensure this does not happen, this is to you and to everyone else. We keep saying this, but you guys don't take it seriously. At the beginning of the week, go through the entire challenge document and take notes of the task that you're supposed to do, then the deliverables you're supposed to do, and by when, so that you can have a good plan of when and how you should do it before that deadline. The issue, uh, the way I understood it is that we have to include uh, ML flow when we are just uh, done with preparing the ML pipeline. That's my, how I understood it. Okay, 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 sorry, I, I didn't do that. But okay, just to everyone else who don't, doesn't go through the challenge document, make sure you go through the challenge document. And yes, we can set up an flow, just setting it up without doing the um, modeling. And then later when you start modeling, you can just log your artifacts, version your models on MLflow. Okay, do we have any other volunteer? Do we have any other volunteers? Should we go ahead and pick a random person? Okay, Gideon, Gideon Tadesa. Gideon Tadesa, are you with us? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you clearly. Okay, so uh, the past three days I've been working on task one the exploratory data analysis uh, uh, and I've been trying to understand the data and per, and answer some of the questions that were asked in task 1.1 1 .1. uh, and I've also attempted to do some Python logging using the logger the built-in Python logger uh, library uh, I've also managed to set up just an empty dashboard as you mentioned in ML flow, but um, uh, I haven't managed to, to to properly set up CML. Uh, so that's my progress. Okay, you to ask, are you facing a specific issue with CML or it was just an issue with time? Uh, yes, I took the, I, the, the, the CML YAML file from the example repository uh, and added it to my GitHub workflow. But since I, I don't understand the point of reporting anything since we don't have any models, so I just left the report part empty. Just, uh, just uh, I, I just put the YAML file in the GitHub workflow, but it's not reporting anything since I don't have any working models. Okay, that seems like a successful setup, which is what was actually required to the setup. And uh, I think that's that's good. That's good progress. When after we do modeling and maybe by final submission on Saturday, maybe you'd actually have the reports. You'd have the data to do for your CML reports. So that is actually good that you are able to just do the setup. Okay, over to you, Angui. Ongo just left. So do we have any other person who wants to volunteer or I can go ahead and pick another random person?
Yes, not now. Okay, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, uh, I completed uh, most of the tasks. Uh, I successfully implemented DVC, uh, CML, and ML flow as well. Uh, but uh, ML flow uh, dashboard is empty since I haven't started modeling the start training the models. Uh, but apart from that, everything is going smoothly, and I'm proceeding to the next tasks. Okay, that is very good to hear. I hope everyone did hear what Nat Nile just said. Do you have any issues with DVC? Nat Nile is here. He has everything set up and running smoothly. So maybe not to put you on the limelight, but that is actually good to hear that you have everything set up and everything is going on smoothly. So do we have any other volunteer? Yes, Hongo, you're back. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, nice. Um, so I um I was able yesterday I was working on uh making the submission um and also a bit of pre-processing. I was able to make the submission today. What I'm planning on working on, um. <laughs> DVC probably because uh, a big block I had yesterday was trying to install uh, DVC to work on my VS Code. I'm using Windows. Um, I'm able to run VS Code locally. I haven't tried to get it to run uh, with remote storage, um, mostly because it's taking up so much of my memory and uh, that was actually the reason like i dropped off the call um it makes everything run so slowly so i'm even so afraid to <laughs> try and connect it remotely um it's almost like i have to like shut down the rest of my applications on my computer if i want to continue using uh the wsl uh to on my VS code. Um, so yeah, that affected uh, like even the EDAs I could do uh, yesterday because it was, it was taking way too long to do something as simple as uh, loading the data frame. Um, I don't know uh, how to get around that. Um, maybe if anyone has encountered this and has overcome it, maybe they can share. Uh, but yeah, my plan today is to work on uh, the logging and then uh, hopefully build a model. Uh, yeah, to be able to serialize them. Okay, that is uh, okay. So thank you for your updates. So sorry to hear about those huge issues. So um, the only thing I'm thinking is, have you tried switching to Linux? But I don't know if someone else here from Windows has experienced that issue with that DSL. Maybe how how big is your ROM? Maybe it's your ROM is getting tired. How? It's eight GB. Um, and like. When I look at the task manager, uh, like immediately I start VS Code, it's hitting like two, 2,000 MB. So like that's two gigabits. Um, when I start running uh, EDA on it, it gets exponentially larger because um, like I've had to like shut down and like restart my computer a couple of times. It's hit like over four GB. Um, I did change the I, I I changed where it was mounted so that uh, helped it because I think when I set up the Windows WSL two it was mounted on I don't know a slash mount slash C something like that uh, so I mounted it it uh, sorry it was a Windows file system so I switched it to a Linux file system and it did get faster um, but the memories. Uh, the application itself is taking still so much, yeah. 
Oh, so maybe do we have someone else who has experienced this issue for the Windows users? Do you have someone else who has experienced this issue? Maybe they can give us their workaround because right now I'm just thinking up switch to Linux. <laughs> so anyone with this issue? So this is more of a technical, I think, should I say, I don't know, I haven't experienced that issue myself. So I wouldn't know of a workaround apart from just switching to Linux because you wouldn't need the WSL if you're on Linux. Yeah. Yeah. Because I see it's also like a patch that Windows was supposed to like have rolled out in 2019 and they haven't gotten around to doing it yet. Because sometimes it pops up, but there are no solutions. It's just workarounds. Is a JID a JID have a workaround for longer? Uh, well, not really like the workarounds uh, toward the, the problem she has, but uh, mostly I found that uh, my Windows always have problem. Like currently, I cannot run Jupyter. I think. Uh, uh, I made a miss uh, and my computer is not working it's saying that is the kernel is dead so like other projects that i used to work on i always go on virtual machine and install linux and i work on linux even now i'm doing everything on, on linux that is installed on virtual machine so i don't know like if virtual machine for harder than cause problems or take much of RAM, maybe she can try that. Wangoi, have you tried using virtual machines and actually set up Linux on that VM? Um, for this project, no, to be honest. Um, I'll probably try that. Oh, okay, just so just try it because there. I'm just gonna tell you when you go to deep planning, which you're doing this week, it's gonna get more intensive. <laughs> the TensorFlow, the TensorFlow is also a very, it's also a very, how should I say, an intensive library, and it's gonna get more intensive with the models we introduce with time. So find our workaround now. Try the virtual machines that Ajit has just um, suggested or. Uh, Eventually, maybe just switch to Linux. It will, it will be better for you as a programmer. In, uh, I, I think it's Yabibal who was telling me at some point that, yeah, most programmers who excel use Linux. So try to just embrace it. <laughs> in this. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So do we have, do we have any other person who wants to volunteer? Give us the updates. We will take one more person because of the time. Just one last person who wants to feel like we need to share this morning. Then we can hand it over to Emilian. No one else is experiencing a big issue. They just want a help on also want to listen. We have around 30, 30 years here to listen to you, so any issues you're facing, you can just listen and provide a workaround. Or maybe I could just choose the last person. So Nebil, Nebil Araga. Nebil, are you here with us? Okay, maybe Nabil is not there. So we just choose someone else. Um, Ekubazgi, hope I'm saying that right. Ekubazgi. Okay, is it that they are not here? What's going on? 
if you are here and I've mentioned your name, even if you cannot speak, just use the chat to communicate why. As I suggest somebody else, let's go with um, Kibatu. Oh, yes, your hands. We have your hands. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yes, this is just to save you from just calling another name. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yesterday I was uh, doing uh, the tasks that was required for the submission. I was uh, pretty late in uh, submitting my work. Nevertheless, I have uh, managed to, to submit it. And today I'm planning to just go on with the uh, machine learning and deep learning production. And uh, so far, I have faced the, the, the G drive, the TVC problem, just like the other guys. Hopefully, uh, uh, I think I'm gonna resolve it today or yesterday, or I'm gonna seek help from others. That's my experience. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Jonas, for that update and for saving me the trouble of calling out names. So the issue you have surfacing, Josias is experiencing the same, and Nat Nile gave uh, a kind of workaround. So you could work with Josias and uh, try to use the Nat Nile's workaround, and then maybe just figure out if it works. If it works, you communicate the same on Slack how you guys got that work around and if it doesn't also communicate the same so that we know a way forward. Okay, Ekubazgi, maybe you want to oh, wait a little bit, that's right. Yeah, uh, so it's, yeah, just Ekubazgi. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, sorry for late uh, response. Just it was a little bit problem. So uh, yesterday I was focusing on the task one, uh, the EDA, the reports. Uh, even though there are some other additional tasks, I was able to work with the DVC. Just uh, I'm just using my local repo, just my local uh, repository. So it works. Uh, so sometimes, but. Uh, it it raised some problems, but yesterday it works for me from the local uh, repository. And uh, but I do have issues with uh, the ML flow. Uh, so as many of them has raised the issue with the ML flow, uh, I read uh, just some materials, but still I do have a gap on it. The other thing is just going uh, just. As uh, as well, just that's all. Okay, so thank you for your update. The issue you're facing with ML flow is it just general setup, or there's something specific that you're struggling with with ML flow? Uh, no, just uh, uh, the thing is uh, when you build a model, then uh, there are some things you need to include regarding to ML flow on the model. For example, it could be some kind of uh, uh, aggression model or other things. So, successfully, when you type ML flow UI, it has to retrieve the information which is in the uh, model, right? Uh, for example, regarding to the metrics, the uh, features that have been used, and so on, has to be uh, shown on the ML flow dashboard. So uh, I need just the integration between the model and the ML flow. Uh, I do have gaps on those areas, particularly. Okay, so. I know there are other, there are other, should I say, commands that for used for MLflow. Anytime you are doing your model, there are commands from MLflow used 
so that when you're logging, maybe you're logging the parameters used for that specific model so that they can actually reflect from your UI. Are you using these commands and maybe it's just giving you an error or maybe you're just in, in are you not, I don't know, you're, how do I say this? You're just importing the ML flow and maybe just doing maybe like an ML flow run without using the many other commands used for ML flow to help you keep track of the parameters you're using. So are you using this to, as well? Yeah, I'm using it, but I think there, there, there could be some integration problem. So when I run the ML flow, just it uh, displays an MPT dashboard that is the thing uh, I was trying to check it whether the email flow is tracking the information which I used to build a simple model. Uh, still, it's not working, but I will try and I will ask some other friends from the team from the tutor. Okay, sure. I think that needs a little bit more hands on just looking at uh, how you've done your coding, how you've set up your ML flow so that you know it's not connecting with your dashboard. I think, yeah, it has something to do with how you're, how you're using ML flow with your code. So maybe you can just ask that on Slack as well, or maybe reach out to one of the tutors. So it could be Azaria. Azaria did deliver that tutorial. Or again, as I mentioned, we will schedule a session for DVC and MLflow again. And uh, maybe you could join on that and just see where the issue is coming from for you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. And with that, I'd say we are done for today. And just hand it over straight to Emilene. Just in here. All right, thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Are you guys there and ready for the hot seat? Hope you guys are good and ready with the questions. So um, without further ado, uh, we will come our hot seat. Uh, I think he's here. I've already announced him on Slack. So please, Enoch, open your video for people to see you then they will be ready with the questions all right and work i think he's around right oh he just left the round please uh your hot seat is there you can sit <laughs> Mr. Henock, can you hear me? It seems like he just left. Maybe it's an internet issue or something like that. Let me, let's just wait. But in the meantime, uh, you guys can prepare your questions. Like, remember you, you're allowed to ask everything except political questions, something like that, but you can ask the hot seat, like everything, everything, anything. I mean, anything, right? Mm. Who can be a proxy? <laughs> Since the hot seat just left, I don't know. Let me let me reach out to him. Ejid, do you want to be the proxy? <laughs> All right, let me, let me reach out to him right now, maybe see if there's any problem.